Hello all, welcome to Codify with Sonal. Today we will cover the super and this keyword in Java. If you want to check out the how to install Java or other basic concepts of Java, please check out the Java playlist pinned in the i button above and uh, in the description box. So let's start with the super keyword first. So what is super keyword? It is a reference variable to the super class like the parent class. Okay, refer immediate parent class instance variable or a parent class method. Okay, if you want to refer the variable or if you want to invoke the immediate parent class method. Invoke super method to get parent class constructor. We'll uh, see a live demo on this so that you understand the usage of this keyword properly. Before that, let us see what is this keyword. This keyword, it is a reference variable that refers to the current object. It has six use cases. We'll see, we can use it with a variable. We can use it with a method implicitly in a constructor. It, we can pass it as an argument in method call. We can pass it as an argument in constructor call. And we can return current class instance from the method. We'll see all this uh, in the live demo, how you can do it. Okay. So let's go to the IDE. So here we are in our IDE. We'll create a new class. I've already created a project. So we'll just give it as the name as super demo. And I'm just as of now uh, creating the classes inside this itself just to show you a demo. So let's have one class called as animal. Okay. And I want to have a variable here called color black okay and i create a class called cat which will extend my animal class okay clear so now again if i have your string color equals maybe gray okay and when i want to print it okay so i give a print color method and which i will be sys doing a sys out cat color is and i print color okay so now you see this color will refer to the variable created inside cat class now if you want to print suppose i say i want to print the color super class cat color then it will we can do super dot color okay so now you see it is referring to the animal class color variable okay so uh, we'll just see the working also let's have a main method now inside main i create a object of class cat new cat okay and i say cat dot print color okay now let's run this run as java application okay so the cat color is gray and when i went to the super class i used the keyword as super you see the color which we initialized in the animal class in the parent class got put up here okay so this is how you use super as a variable of the parent class now as we said that super can be used to invoke parent class method okay now suppose i have void void drink okay and i just sys out here And I say drinking. Okay.
now i have one method here called as void inside my child class okay inside my child class i have a method same name okay void drink and i'll just sys out over here saying drinking water now inside this only i will call super dot drink okay and now i see cat dot drink let's have this uh, super before this so now we'll say it went to the drink method of the child class and it's a super dot drink so it is using super to invoke the parent class method okay drinking and then child class method drinking water okay clear now a very simple example on how you can use super keyword as a constructor okay now we'll have a constructor let's have a constructor here I'm just writing simple sys out statement. Okay, animal. Now cat extends animal. So in the cat class also we'll have one constructor. So to start with this constructor, before you need to invoke the parent class constructor, then you can just sys out saying cat. Okay. Now in my main method i'll just create an object as you know that when object is created constructor is invoked correct if you want to check out how constructor works please check out the tutorial on constructors i'll put the link in the i button above as well as in the description box so let's run this and see so you see first what happened was it went when you create an object constructor got invoked constructor of cat class got invoked which invoked the parent class constructor using super keyword okay so it printed animal and then it in uh, used its own constructor sysout statement called cat okay so i guess the super keyword is clear and uh, remember this keyword super as a constructor it is automatically added by the compiler if there is no super okay in the constructor so if i remove this okay i'll show you that also if i remove this okay and now let's run this and see see the compiler by default puts the super constructor invocation okay it printed animal first and then cat now let's uh, see the demo of this keyword now uh, coming to this keyword so the we saw that there are six uh, usages of this keyword so now let's see why we want this keyword okay so i'll just create a class called employee okay so i'll be having int id and string string name okay and i'll create a constructor now i say id equal id name equal name now you see you don't know which id is referring to this which id is referring to this so it's an ambiguity okay now let's see what will happen if we just keep it like this so we say void display and i try to sys out this plus id name okay and now let's create a another class this demo okay so now inside this demo i have my main method 
okay inside this main method i am creating employee emp1 equal to new employee with id as one comma name as sonal and let's have one more employee object with emp2 id as two and name as priya okay now i say emp1 dot display and emp2 dot display now let's see what gets printed okay you see there's no proper distinguish between the local variable and the instance variable so when you put the this keyword in front of this what will happen is it will refer to the class variable okay this dot id it will refer to the class variable this variable okay this dot name okay now let's run this again and see you see it's clear so the why usage of this keyword came is the answer to that okay so second uh, usage what we saw was it is used to invoke current class method okay how can you do that now here itself if i want to say void class name okay and i say sys out this is employee class okay and now i want to use display method over here so i can use it like that this dot display to invoke my current class method okay i can even use it without this or i can use it with this okay and now when i say emp1 dot class name let's hide this out for now using comments if you want to know what is comments we have done this in our java basic con syntax classes now let's play this this is employee class and id1 and name sonal okay clear now coming to how can you invoke current class constructor okay now to invoke the current class constructor i what i'll do is i'll just create a default constructor okay employee and i'll say sys out employee okay and i uh, here if i want to say this then it will refer to what it will refer to this constructor okay now let's play the demo and see okay i created two objects constructor got invoked that's why i'm getting the employee twice so these are the common usages of the this keyword and if you want me to show the demo of uh, this usages also please let me know so as we have seen the demo we have seen the we have seen these three usages if you want to see the other three usages this is not very frequently used is the reason i have not explained much about it okay so i hopefully the session was useful and let's codify with sonal in the next tutorial till then stay happy please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification of the updated video thank you